And Gil Hans joins us now from Colonial. It's great to see you. What's it like to have that kind of stamp of approval from a Texas native and gentleman in Jordan Spieth who knows Colonial <laughs> so well? Great to be with you guys. It's wonderful. I mean, yeah, obviously, you always want to hear good things about the work that you do. Uh, to have that you know, stamp of approval from somebody who's played here, grown up in this area, understands the history and the tradition of Colonial, uh, and obviously understands the golf course really well, I think it's, it's an amazing compliment, and Jim and I are pretty excited about that. Gil, this golf course is associated more with Ben Hogan than anyone else, and I believe Hogan said that a straight ball gets you in more trouble at Colonial than it does anywhere else. Was that actually true, and is it still true? I think so. I mean, you look at the, the way these holes twist and turn. Uh, I think angles are relevant here, so straight ball really sometimes will put you at a disadvantage when it comes to the angles into the greens. Um, you know, I had the, the amazing good fortune to speak with Dan Jenkins prior to his passing, and he talked about how Colonial was like playing in a hallway. There were always these trees, and you were hitting into these sort of dark corners where the greens sat up. And so it always placed a premium on ball striking, hitting the ball, moving it, shaping it, getting yourself in position to take advantage of it. If you got yourself out of position, you really struggled to get back into it. So there's no, no reason, un, you know, you certainly understand why Ben Hogan loved this place for being a ball striker. Gil, that said, one of the challenges of doing a renovation on a golf course with a smaller footprint than some of the other renovations you've done? Well, I think the, the biggest challenge here was the timeline. I mean, it was really, you know, after the last putt dropped last year, it was difficult. You know, we had a very tight window to build in. And I think to a certain degree, the smaller footprint actually helped us out. You know, when you start, when you start from a construction standpoint, you're working from irrigation and working your way out so you can carry water with you. And so we knew exactly where that water was coming from over by the maintenance facility. So we knew our route was going to be coming down 12, doing 13, working our way out of that corner through the rest of the golf course, and then ultimately ending up at the driving range, which worked out well, because if you're going to want to build something last, the driving range is a good place to finish a project. So within those corridors, we were able to work very tight, you know, basically uh, the demolition occurred, then the shaping, then the reconstruction, the drainage, then irrigation came in and everybody moved in <coughs> lockstep through the property. It was, it was actually an amazing effort. And because we had these tree line corridors, because we had to protect a lot of the outer play areas, we were able to limit somewhat the scope of the disruption. Gil, I've read that your inspiration for this renovation was the 1941 U.S. Open that was played at Colonial. Why that particular moment in time in the long history of this golf course? Well, I kind of feel like it was the high water mark. When the golf course first was constructed, holes three, four, and five, the horrible horseshoe, were not part of the original design. So uh, Sir Leonard went out and found this property, added to it, then brought Perry Maxwell in to build those three holes, design them, and then also to freshen up the rest of the golf course. So when you have an architect like Maxwell putting his stamp on Colonial, I think that's really a good place to start. And the other part of it is we had the documentation. You know, sometimes when you have the opportunity to look at photographs, especially from on the ground during you know, the run up to the championship, you had great aerial photography. All of that allowed us to at least focus in on stylistically what we were trying to accomplish. And we also felt it was the high watermark architecturally. After that point in time, the golf course underwent a series of significant changes, primarily engineering related. You know, they straightened out the Trinity River that used to flood the entire golf course. So all of these changes were not driven by architecture. They were driven more by engineering. So we wanted to go back to a period of time that we had the information at our disposal. We had arguably the best architect who has ever worked on this property, arguably the best architect who ever worked, period. And then we had the opportunity to go ahead and trace that back, you know, from an architectural quality standpoint. Gil, there's a line from the movie Shawshank Redemption, the world's gone and got itself into a, a big hurry. Why does a golf course like Colonial matter to the PGA Tour and the world of golf? Well, I mean, you know I'm a big traditionalist. I love <clears throat> working and protecting and restoring these great old golf courses along with, you know, with Jim. So I think from our standpoint, having very few of them left on the tour, right? It's basically Riviera, Colonial, uh, Harbor Town, I guess would fall into that category, although it's obviously not as old as those two golf courses. I think it's important from a heritage standpoint, from a tradition standpoint, to provide these challenges. It also gives us an opportunity to look at, you know, we're able to compare 
Ben Hogan to Jordan Spieth and Scotty Scheffler and we were able to look and see golf courses in the way they were played back in the golden age versus the way they're played now. I think it would really be a shame if the tour was to lose these great places that are the benchmarks uh, for their golf courses and the places that they've played for a long period of time. So the way we look at it, Colonial has always been and still is a relevant test of golf for these guys. I mean, obviously, certain players like playing here versus others, but I think within the overall scope of testing every aspect of your game, Colonial is about as good as you get out on tour. Gil, can't wait to see how the golf course plays this week. Hope you get more pats on the back as opposed to, to daggers. Uh, thanks for the time and have, have a great week. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Always great being with you. Thank you.